What's up, y'all? This your girl Coco K, and we are back at the Black Business Bureau with a coat with Coco. Yes, yes. And today, our featured chef is Chef Shell. How are you, my girl? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So while we are at it, y'all make sure y'all go ahead and click that subscribe button so y'all don't miss any of these episodes of a cup with Coco. Okay. Now we done already took our shot, so we had to get a little loose because you know how we do it right <laughs> so i want you to go ahead and introduce your business go ahead and let people know what you do are you just a personal chef um do you cater do you host events do you work somewhere as a chef um how did this chef title come about okay so again my name is chef shell um a lot of you may know me as shaquilla um i am a professional chef i did graduate culinary school I do work as a chef, um, a culinary supervisor, as they speak, um, at a hospital, but I do have my LLC. It's called Create Catering LLC. I cater, I do weddings, I do birthday parties. I also do date nights, private home mm -hmm. events. Um, I do desserts as well. So okay. a subsidiary of Create Catering is Desserts by Michelle, mm -hmm. as oh. you can see here. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Cause this right here, <laughs> this is the only thing she orders, but it's okay. Cause it's crack. Yes. Okay. I need to go see somebody. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, but, um, I do wedding cakes, custom cakes. Um, if I can't do it, I will try to find out, do my research. Um, but it's pretty much, I'm an all around chef, um, caterer, entrepreneur, but I still work as well. Yeah. So yes. that's how the chef title came about. That's how Chef Shell has come to be, and um, I'm ready to serve y'all up. Yeah, and just a little background, like me and Chef Shell go way back, okay? Like spinning the flags way back, right? All right. right. <laughs> okay. Color guard. Yes, honey. All the new stage. Oh. Well, I was there a few years before her, but, but we gonna book it out because yes. we are Rams, okay? Hmm. Don't yes. come for us. Don't come don't. for us in the comments. Just right. Don't do it. <laughs> All right. So just to get this thing started, I am going to make us a little black, you know, a little black doctor. All right. So today, this one's yours because we know we took a little shot before. Like I said, yes. we had to get a little loose as a goose. So my girl says she like crown black. All right. So this is what we gonna do. I'm gonna put a little ice up in here. That's a little bit. Hopefully I'll make a mess. Now me personally, mm -hmm. I'm all for a nice cocktail mixed drink. Cause you know, a lady, she sips, she never she drinks. Does. She does. However, if it ain't running, don't chase it. <laughs> don't chase it. Cause we, we, we don't chase, mm, 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 you know. <laughs> right. Okay, <laughs> you, you know, you know. All right, so. I don't measure this out. I ain't no bartender. I just eyeball it. Okay, so we're gonna take our crown black and we just gonna wet that baby up. Always bet on black, y'all. Bet on black. You understand? That's why we at the black. That's why we at the black business bureau. You Entrepreneurship, feel me? black chefs, mm -hmm. black girls, black men. Bet on black, period. All the time. Facts. And we got some Dr. Pepper, okay? Because this is why this is Dr. Black, all right? <laughs> And this is going to add a little flavor and a little fizzy fizz. I don't know. I feel like I always need some fizz with my liquor. Like, I don't like just, like, fruity drinks. Yeah, like, definitely. I need a little bit of fizz. Yeah, I definitely don't. I can do the fizz. Yeah. I definitely don't like the uh, the sweetness, mm -hmm. so to speak. So. And then, plus, you know, you got to watch it. You know, we don't work hard for these bodies. Yeah, my girl done lost so much weight, y'all. Y'all don't even know. And she look good. She's serving body, okay? She... I've only lost like what 92 pounds. She being Not humble, much. baby, because some much. people struggle to lose five. I right? but body. <laughs> That's it. Show yes. it off, sis. And here, if you don't know what this is, this is grenadine. Grenadine is go that goes in the um what those called sherry temples, like with the sprite mm -hmm. and the grenadines and you know the tequila sunrises and all that good stuff. When you see like the red the red coloring in your drinks is grenadine, which yeah. is like a cherry flavor. So my it's girl, a simple syrup mixer. Facts. Yeah. You know she she got all the technical terms, so she got me here. You yeah. feel me? She got my back. Ooh. Oh, just a little bit because she don't like her stuff too sweet. You gotta watch it, girl. Gotta Please. Watch this figure. And really, the grenadine is like a little bit for the taste, a lot of bit for, for the, the color. color. Mm -hmm. Definitely, most definitely. So we just gonna swirl this around just a little bit and up to it down to it, sis. Take a little sippy sip. 
like that. Black doctor. I'm gonna bet on him all the time. Okay, now. okay. He gonna get you right. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into a girl. What are we cooking today? Today <clears throat> we're keeping it simple. It's springtime. We want to mm -hmm. keep these bodies nice. We want to keep these insides clean and fresh. Yes. Nothing too heavy. <laughs> so we're going to do a flank steak salad on some French baguette mm. with a nice little lemon arugula salad, some Persian cucumbers, mm. a little shaved red onion for the bite, and some tomato. Mm. Real simple, real simple. Oh, real simple. And I bet it's going to be real good because my girl could throw down, okay? Yes. Yes. So... I'm gonna let you go ahead and start chefing it up while we jump into this conversation, okay? Um, so, what you gonna do first? Are you gonna, like, what's the process here with the sandwich? So, with anything as far as steak, it's just based on your preference. I'm a medium, uh, mid rare type of girl. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I think you said you're mid well type of girl. Yeah. It's okay, we can go in between. Mm -hmm. So, I got some mm -hmm. plain steak that I marinated overnight with some garlic, mm -hmm. some Peruvian peppers. Mm -hmm. Um, a little bit of soy sauce. So it's just real nice, savory umami. Oh, yes. Um, oh, mommy. Yes. <laughs> and I let that rest and letting it come to room temperature because I want to keep the steak as moist as possible. Okay. Um, over here, I have a cast iron skillet, but it's nonstick and it has the grill grates in it. So if you don't want to grill, but you want some grill marks, you can definitely do that. I definitely suggest you have a heavy bottom skillet mm -hmm. and a heavy bottom girl. L. <laughs> <laughs> and what I'm going to do is let this preheat. And anytime you're doing something as far as cast iron skillet, you want to get a nice sear. Mm -hmm. You want to let your pan preheat five, seven, even 10 minutes, um, let it heat. It won't stick and it'll give that nice crust on the outside. Mm -hmm. When you flip it over, you have that nice crust, a nice sear, mm -hmm. and then you let your meat rest. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. That's some good meat. That's good meat. That's some good meat. We like good meat. Oh right yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so about like the skillet. So because I have a couple grill pans, have a couple cast iron grill pans. So is it just for the marks? Like it don't give no kind of grill favor because you don't have any like charcoal or any like gas or anything to it. It's just for like the show. Correct, correct. So in order to get that coal flavor, mm -hmm. that smoke flavor, you actually have to have those components. Mm -hmm. So charcoal, wood chips, um, smoking pellets, mm -hmm. um, and some type of grilling apparatus, which is typically something outside. Um, but if you want those grill marks, just get you a nice cast iron skillet with the grill lines in it and again let it preheat so you can get those nice marks on it um also with your meat you want to make sure the outside is a little bit dry mm -hmm. um you want to remove the moisture from it so that it can get that nice sear on it that would make sense yeah. all right so like do you just do like your chef work or do you oh well you said that you still work as well right correct so what stops you from just like just going all full blown out on your business um so it's nothing necessarily that's stopping me um no i take that back as far as what's stopping me um just working capital mm -hmm. i don't want to take out a major business loan i have student right. loans yep, i don't want to take out a major we'll business loan <laughs> yes <laughs> Um, that's truly what's, uh, I guess you could say, holding me up because it's definitely not stopping me. You can't stop what's meant to be. You can't, baby. It's destined. Yeah. <laughs> it's destined for greatness. Like, it's, I keep um, going anyway. <laughs> but I do work, like I said, I work um, my main job. I'm a culinary supervisor. They have all these fancies. I'm a kitchen manager <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at one of the local hospitals here in Middle Georgia. But I also do have a second love for mental and behavior health, black mm -hmm. mental and behavior mm -hmm. health. But I do work with mental and behavior uh, adults, 18 and older. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of my way of, even though I'm working and getting compensated, mm -hmm. it's a way of me kind of giving back. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and so that's something I do. And so I'm just trying to build my own capital so that I could be able to eventually fund my business. Mm -hmm. um, and right now it's working. Mm -hmm. I definitely mm -hmm. would like to be full time and mm -hmm. things of that nature. But uh, that's the gist of it. It's, it's, I had to realize that it's okay to work on your main job or mm -hmm. somebody else's job while you're working mm -hmm. on your dream, but just don't forget to work on you. That's yeah. the main thing. 
Definitely, because um, especially hitting on the mental health, like I'm a mental health nurse. I work in forensic mental health, mental health. So these people, they actually have like charges. Like I work with a lot of pedophiles, mm -hmm. a lot of child molesters, a lot of people that done like killed their roommates, okay. shot their husband and then they kids. Like it's, it's yeah, like it's the real deal out there. But at the end of the day, you know, I love my job because some people will look at these people and be like, oh my God, you're disgusting. Like I never do anything for you. But I feel like as a human being, like we all still need care. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, like some of their some of their charts ain't a lot. Like I can't even read like their court records because I'm like I'm gonna judge you real bad. So yeah. I'm just gonna leave that where it's at, right, <laughs> right there. None more than less. But um, like I definitely feel like you know working and having a business like it's okay. You know you could definitely get some working capital. You know, but as far as like with the loans. Y'all know this is a black business girl, so I'ma drop some gems for y'all. You know, you can always utilize like, you know, like your business credit, like especially with you being a chef um, and she was at the Money Mob event. Go check that out if you did, if you missed it, you feel me? Um, I was saying like about Sam's, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like if you have a business membership with Sam's um, after like maybe a month, maybe three months, um, you go and you apply for you with Sam's card. You know yeah, what I'm and saying? You and you go in there. your number instead mm -hmm. of your own personal social security. I do my little research. Yeah, girl. Um, yeah, so I definitely, um, I started that mm -hmm. process. I didn't go through with the application, honestly, mm -hmm. because you had to go do it in person. It was one of them. Yeah, that like, that's, that's what has stopped me. But people that I have put on to it, they have actually gone and gotten their card. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The caveat to getting business credit and all this stuff like that is people um, are like me and you. Now, you, you with food, so, you know, food is right next to sex. Like, it's going to sell. Yeah. So, you might make yes. more money money than me in a month so you might have that revenue but a lot of people who have like startup business they're not really bringing in that revenue they like oh well, I could just get this with my credit I could do this with my business credit but at the end of the day you're still paying out of pocket okay. because your business isn't making that revenue right. you know what I'm saying so that's why people like me and you you know we still have to work well really definitely me but I, like I said because you probably making more money than me and that's okay that that is okay because this is a black business bureau it's enough money to go around for everybody everybody, for everybody. everybody. <laughs> baby like they ain't finna run out well I don't want I don't know because the United States they they in trouble right now so I don't want to say they ain't gonna go under but they'll have enough um digital currencies to go around in a minute okay yeah. if you know you know you smell that? You smell that? Uh oh i do the pan is ready it's it good definitely and hot. is yes so i got me some grape seed oil i like to keep a good flavorless oil those mm. are uh, ones that have a high smoke point which means you cook on a high temperature mm -hmm. um without it combusting into flames and um, it's a flavorless oil on like your typical extra virgin olive oil so what mm. i'm going to do is coat the pan with a little bit of oil okay we're going to take this flank steak we're going to sear mm. get a nice little crust on yes, it I'm excited. yes kia if you can grab those um tongs the blue ones okay so oh, yeah let me know here. the color because y'all told y'all she be all technical <laughs> i'm like hey what am i looking for <laughs> yes so this is the flank steak. Like I said, I got it marinated with some Peruvian peppers. Mm. I got a little oil in here. Mm. And then let's see. I'm like, how do these even work? Let me, oh, oh, found it. <laughs> Figured it out. <laughs> yeah, so take your tongs. You see that nice smoke. You want that nice little smoke. Mm -hmm. Adjust that heat a little bit. And I'm going with the dry side down. Okay. Mm. That is what you want. Okay every single time yes and you want to put it here mm -hmm. and not touch it do okay. not touch it okay. so again we're going for like a uh, medium mid rare mm -hmm. so it's a bit between like a uh, 140 145 uh, degrees okay <clears throat> so we're gonna leave this here maybe about five to six minutes on this side and then when we flip it another like three to four minutes on that side okay and then we'll go from there Ooh. Um, while that's searing we can start on our yes. little arugula salad yes. and our bread and everything okay i'm so excited y'all you make sure you book your girl chef shell for any events come on I'm letting you know you will not be disappointed my girl don't miss <laughs> don't my girl don't miss you feel me Ooh. oh 
bucket. It's a bucket, baby. Right. You know, like both of us, we have like families to take care of. We both got kids. So, you know, you definitely have to like, you gotta have a steady income because yeah. like in the business world, like this month, you might have 10 books, especially like around events, like Valentine's Day, yeah. around Mother's Day, maybe Sweetie's Day. Like, I don't know if people, some people here celebrate it, some people don't. And then definitely like Thanksgiving, Christmas, maybe even Easter, you know, like where people are enjoying food and it's really a part of the culture and the festivities. But then you have maybe your slower months and it's just <clears> like, okay, I still need my money. You know what I'm saying? Right. Whether people are making orders or booking me or what like i still need my money so it is okay okay like it is it's, it's all right what was your diet like what did your diet consist of so my diet definitely consists of um multiple things not just food mm -hmm. and drink um the first thing was consistency mm -hmm. that was what my diet consisted of um i just woke up and i turned 30 <laughs> um, I turned another, I, I gained some more age and wisdom um, and I wanted, I wanted my life to be different because like I said, we do have daughters or whatever. Mm -hmm. I want to be there and accountable mm -hmm. for her. So the first thing that changed in my diet is consistency, the mm -hmm. want to be consistent. Mm -hmm. um, and then I did cut out a lot of different foods, fried mm -hmm. foods, mm -hmm. I actually cut out meat. Mm -hmm. I don't consume a lot of uh, mm -hmm. animal products. Mm -hmm. um, this steak is different though. We're not <laughs> we going on this steak. Yeah. Um, I do try to stay with the leaner meats and okay. whatnot. Um, leaner meats such as? Such as lean red meats. So your different cuts of steak, <clears throat> believe it or not, pork, I don't consume a lot of pork. It would mean um, Pork is uh, considered a lean meat. Mm, um, a salty lean meat. Yeah. <laughs> um, chicken breast is a good lean meat. However, it's it's good protein, but flavor wise and getting mm -hmm. a seasoning, it can be hit or miss. Yeah. Um, but that was actually the number one thing that I cut out. I just could not chicken, chicken, believe it or not. Wow. Um, so what I did was pick up my protein with uh, like um, plant protein. So uh, if I would do pasta, I would do lentil pasta, chickpea pasta. Hmm. Yeah. And it honestly, it doesn't, it doesn't change. Like sometimes people are like, oh, it tastes the same. Oh, it's it really doesn't. It really, it really doesn't. It really doesn't. Um, Is the texture different? It's definitely a texture difference. Mm. But um, I can rock with it. Um, while we working, okay. let's go back over here and check this steak because I definitely think it's ready to yeah, flip. Definitely. It's smelling good. It is. So, I'm like, ooh, that is good. Ooh. Look at that, that crust. It's the crust. It's the crust. Y'all, mine never look like that. I ain't gonna say never, but it, it's not as predominant as those marks but yeah you can't move it you see how we've been working and yeah. not moving it nice grill marks yes, nice crust definitely <clears throat> want to let that go so mm. <clears throat> getting back over here to this arugula salad i just have some organic arugula okay which is like a nice little peppery fresh right cream. yes you can yes. eat it raw you can eat it fresh mm -hmm. um you can cook it. You can throw it in there. Mm -hmm. I have some red onion. Me personally, I love onion. I like red onion. Yeah. I mean, it depends on what's going on. If I'm going to do like Vidalia or a regular white or red, but definitely like on a sandwich, I love a red onion for sure. Me too. Definitely. Um, it's just something about that little bite. Mm -hmm. Um, I love it. Um, <clears throat> so our little salad is going to be real simple. Like mm -hmm. I like to keep things as simple as possible. Mm -hmm. I got a lemon here. First, I'm gonna roll it. Yeah, get that so juicy juice, juice flowing. Yes, you know, this for is, me. Uh, four plate for cooking. Yes. yes. <laughs> so, and one way you can get the juice out without worrying about the seeds, you don't have to cut directly in the middle. Mm. You can cut. So, I'm gonna squeeze that lemon over oh, there. Wow. That's gonna cut some of that acid from the onion. Yeah. But also make a nice little dressing. Um, and just because we love flavor, I got my little zester here. Just get a little bit of the lemon peel in there, a little color. Yep, so we're gonna add a little lemon zest. Mm. <clears throat> some pink Himalayan salt. Yes, I love me some pink salt. This girl's so daggone fancy. No. I mean, do y'all see this? It's just the pink Himalayan salt. But she pressing the button. She ain't even doing like this. She pressed the button and they do it for her. Some fresh cracked pepper. Dang, I'm getting some of those for my house. <laughs> Amazon, baby. Okay. Amazon, feel free to sponsor your girl. I you love, feel me? I love black pepper. Yeah, girl, you could go. Oh, gym moment. 
you could go to Amazon and actually sign up for the Amazon Influencer Program. Oh, and so, God. yes, like it's not even something that they have to reach out to you for. So you go on Amazon, you fill out the information, you put in all your little stuff, and then you basically create a store. And so since you do a lot of cooking and you probably buy a lot of stuff there, you would create like a store. And so when people go to your store or like you post your link on your page, they click on your link and they're like, ooh, you know what? I seen that in that video. Let me buy these salt and pepper shakers. Like you mm, get like a storefront and you get a commission from it. Facts. I know. Facts. I you know. feel me? Yeah. So your girl got I got you. Yeah. I got you, yeah. sis. Let's go check on this steak because I think okay. it's almost done. All right. Um I did wash the plate that we initially had it on because you want to let it rest. Mm -hmm. And so from here. And you can also tell just by filling it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So we're just gonna sit this on the plate mm. and we're gonna let it rest. Yes. <clears throat> Baby, that looks good. It's smelling good. Y'all already know I like to eat. So I'm already, like my mouth is like watering right now. Y'all don't even mm. understand. And then I got these cupcakes, but we gonna talk about that later. Whoop. All right. Yeah, so what we do, I just got some regular standard meal French bread rolls. Um, we got the pan, I did lower the heat. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna slice these bread rolls open toast them because you gotta get a nice little toast on your bread. Yes. The flavor from start to finish. You mm -hmm. gotta have a nice little flavor mm. and texture and so now me personally <clears throat> I'm all I'm I'm not super health conscious mm -hmm. but I do try to take the best route. So would you like your bread butter or with a little oil? I don't know I already broke my fast so <coughs> You can give me some butter. Butter, baby. It's butter, baby. You it's feel butter. me? Yes. It's butter, baby. All right. I feel you. I definitely was going to bank on butter. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Please. I'm just trying to give her and options. we in the South, so you already know. Yes. So, again, the skillet is still hot. I did lower the heat mm -hmm. on it. Um, you can use, and this is another thing. <clears throat> I guess you could say this is a one-pot meal because mm. we ain't for, we want to eat the food. Yes. Enjoy the drink. Yes. And clean up that one pan or and pot. And that's it, because well, I ain't trying to be in the kitchen cleaning all day. Now I ain't no. even hungry. But right. I'm gonna clean all these damn dishes. Right. <laughs> just saying. And again, just for added fla flavor, we're gonna put the butter on there. And then this is real butter. So it's a difference between when you see sweet cream, mm -hmm. salted, unsalted butter. Or like that's, margarine. Yeah. Or something like that. That's pure butter. Margarine is like the blue bonnet or the imperial. Mm -hmm. um, it does have butter components in there, but it's 53% vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. So those are some things you wanna take into account. Now, butter is a little bit more on the expensive side, but but, mm -hmm. you know you can't health as well health as well health as well so spend that few extra this is yeah. some grade a a butter this is the same butter i use when i make my buttercream for my cupcakes oh baby it butter. gotta be the magic ingredient <laughs> mm. it is that butter butter, butter everything baby better butter baby yeah Woo. so what like when you say health as well like what are the healthier components of butter is like especially like as far as like the vegetable oil like this doesn't have any vegetable oil so what's like the difference so um anything um that's like full fat granted you want to keep your body in a like specific caloric deficit mm -hmm. but anything that's full fat is almost like pure and if you're giving your body full fat and you're uh, just doing that fat and uh, eliminating carbs, almost like the ketogenic diet, mm -hmm. which I'm not a fan of because mm. people get it so misconstrued. Another time, another episode. Yeah, yeah. But um, you want to put your body in a caloric deficit so that when you're eating your full fats, your healthy fats, mm -hmm. avocado, mm -hmm. pure butter. Um, what about cashews? Meat. Cashews, yeah. I showed you say some of them last night. Yeah, <laughs> nuts. Um, your body takes what it needs and it gives it back. So it's mm -hmm. like versus you starving and always being in a total uh, deficit. Mm -hmm. If you're in just a deficit here and there, your body is gonna. The last thing your body is gonna do is die. It's mm -hmm. gonna do what it needs to do to survive. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna like, well, she's feeding me. She's giving me this. So I'm mm -hmm. gonna take what I need. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do what I need to do. Three, right. four, Use five it as hours. energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I'm gonna get rid of the rest. So then that's how you end up only 92 pounds now. Oh, please, honey, I'm trying to follow her lead because my birthday is in May and baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get fine. We're so, gonna see. It's Cinco de Mayo. We'll be back, all right? Yeah. <laughs> so with the bread, this is just unsalted butter. Just again, I wanna invoke flavor everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm just, just so amazed season. by this thing, y'all. <laughs> 
because we want to do some seasonings everywhere. Yeah. Our steak is resting. You can see the juices mm. coming. We can um, finish up this salad. Okay, a matter of fact, I just want to go ahead and clear the air because before we started filming, I was like, mm, I don't want my meat rare because I don't like blood. So is it actually blood that you see when you have like a steak and it's like red and all that red juice that look like blood is coming out? <laughs> no, it's actually purged. So when they- uh, Is what? Purge. Purge. So once they kill the animal, they hang it, let all the blood run out. Mm -hmm. um, so within the protein, the color that's in there now, I been out of nursing school for a little minute, mm -hmm. so it ain't the Billy Rubin, it ain't the something, but it's something. Yeah. But basically, it's purge. It's it's the it's the natural liquid that's in there, and it's the purge, and mm -hmm. it just so happens to be tinted red, um, mm. because you know around the bone, um, around like in chicken, even though chicken is white or mm -hmm. yellow. So, to so speak. is it like the iron as well? Yeah. Okay. So I think that's where I think I pulled a Billy Rubin from. Okay. You know, okay. Y'all went to nursing school. I went. That's hey, it. but you know what? But she know what she's talking about. You yes. feel me? Like she dropping these gems especially for people like me and i got about mm, my birthday is may 15 i'm going to the strength of a woman concert in atlanta georgia and it's the strength of a woman festival and summit by summit by the way and they will have 19 keys i don't know if you know about 19 keys during your heard. leisure but baby like i was just watching them on youtube last night like when he they said 19 keys i was like oh let me buy my tickets like let yeah. me buy them right now so you know more little story, I gotta get fine. And we're going to the RB and Soul Picnic. Oh. So make sure, yes, honey, come along if you want, because it's gonna be popping, okay? I'm working on my media pass. I'm just waiting for a response. But either way, y'all already know that we are gonna have a lot of coverage because it's my birthday weekend. So yeah. we gotta let y'all know what we're doing in the A. And <coughs> most of the things we're doing will be black on. You feel me? All right. Love it. Yes. Always, always bet on black. Bet on black, baby. So what I did, the skillet was still hot. Um, I put the bread in there and I actually okay. turned the skillet off. We just want to get a nice okay. little crust, melt that butter, mm -hmm. let that salt and pepper seep in. Mm -hmm. And I'm just continuing the prep. I got some vine ripe tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna lay those on the board. Mm -hmm. Our steak is resting. I got these little Persian cucumbers. Like, I, I love need, those. Like a little freshness. I love it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cut them on a bias just because they'll lay flatter on the uh, sandwich. You're gonna cut them on what? On a bias, on an angle. Okay. I'm gonna cut them slanted. <laughs> I'm gonna cut them slanted. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you're totally fine, honey. I'm just letting y'all know that she know what my girl know what she doing. Okay, so yes. don't get it twisted, baby. Bet on black. <laughs> Always, baby. So um, now, as far as some kitchen staples, um, I know y'all probably be like, what she got? What she got? What mm -hmm, she got? Mm -hmm. um, I love my cleaver. You got to be a bad person to walk around with a cleaver. Mm -hmm. I Who love did my that? cleaver. Was it Jason? Oh, one my, of them people. One of them. One of them. One of them bad mother lovers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I just personally like my cleaver. Um, and I also love a good chef's knife. This mm -hmm. is a little bit smaller for me. Um, I like a good eight inch chef's knife. And like I said, as long as you got you a heavy bottom skillet and girl, you cannot go wrong. Mm -mm. You can do eggs, you can do steak, mm -hmm. you can do everything in there. Mm -hmm. um, so so why are we adding, you talking about a heavy bottom skillet. How do you prep an iron skillet? As far as seasoning it? Yeah, because like when you first get it, you don't just buy it and wash it and 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 put it on the stove and get ready to go. My mama taught me, like, I, I had to learn, not necessarily the hard way, I hadn't cooked anything, but she was like, oh, you need to season it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, season my pan? Yeah. <laughs> so what you do, the whole thing with your cast iron skillets, what you want to do is just get it, put some oil in it. Mm -hmm. And if you want to, you could put some seasonings in there, some mm -hmm. salt, some black pepper, whatever like that, and put it in the oven on low and just let it sit and you can continue to do that. Another thing is you don't want to wash your skillet with soap. Mm. Soap is almost it, the same thing it does with the skin. It takes off that layer of oh, seasoning. Oh, wow. Yeah. So um, as far as your cast iron skillets, you want to wash them with warm water. Use some soap if you have to. It's just a little bit. Just a moderation. little bit. Yeah. But um, once you get done using your skillet, um, just take a sponge with a little scrub pad if you have to get like some built up de uh, debris off of it. Mm -hmm. But honestly, as long as you wash it, rinse it out, try it. Mm -hmm. Put a little oil, no stick spray, stick it in the oven, and it'll it'll live 
for generations and that it, pan will literally me. live and this is after like you don't wash it and did whatever you still gonna you gonna like dry it and put some oil on it and put it back in the oven right okay because she definitely left that stuff out okay oh, i'm sorry yeah all right definitely no not you even my it. mom left it out oh, she just told me yeah. to prep it and like oh just put it in the oven but she didn't even tell me how to like take care of it i'm like okay yeah every time you do wash it even with that water because you know water can create rust dry it out and then, like I say, sometimes if I'm being lazy, I just take my no stick canola oil spray, spray it in there, and I pop it in the oven, leave it. You can turn mm. it on or not. But yeah, just take some any kind of oil, it doesn't matter, rub it in there with a paper towel, and you just want it like coated to shine, you know, it's shiny mm -hmm. and everything like that. Like shining um, some new shoes. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Like some ties. Yes. Yeah. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the bread out. Okay. It should be ready. And bread. Do look, y'all, oh, Jesus, I wish, can y'all, are you sure you can't smell it? Smell of it, Just, girl. Oh, oh my, my god! Look at that. Girl, look, show, show him. Look at it. Oh look at that. shoot, boy. Y'all, you gotta be here. I, I'm, you know what? I might just bring an audience at one point because you gotta be here to taste. Not it. me Jesus. trying to be professional and grabbing this stuff out the pan with my hand because, child, when girl, I'm so, hey. I'm so used to being burned from the skillet. Yeah, to, yeah. It's like so, when she's a real chef. She ain't like, oh, let me eat my tongues. <laughs> <laughs> let me get, let me get it bread. Right. So I got our little arugula, lemon, mm. black pepper, onion salad. I'm just gonna toss that with my hands. Okay. Real quick. Your hands are your best tool, so I'm yeah. gonna toss that with my hands. Mm. And again, it's just lemon, a little lemon juice, some salt, some pepper, mm. and a little grapeseed oil. Um, grapeseed oil, avocado oil. It just depends on what time how I'm feeling but mm -hmm. they pretty much are the same thing so mm. I just tossed it around I probably should have grabbed a bigger bowl but you know it's okay we're gonna make it do we're it gonna make it work that's it you know? so now for the star of the show mm. <coughs> oh hey this steak the protein yes this steak I always keep you a little kitchen towel too don't be wiping your hands on your clothes that's mm -hmm. so uncool so uncool then you gonna have grease stains now you gotta put baby side powder or flour on your clothes to get the stain out and then wash it like i go old school okay if you get a grease stain, oh, dropping a gym if you get a grease stain like on your clothes like i wear like a lot of nursing scrubs so they are really easy to stain like with grease yeah. all you gotta do is like flour works better than baby powder but you can just use whatever is accessible put it on there and sprinkle it on there and let it sit for about 15 to 30 minutes and when you shake it off like you'll literally see that that powder has soaked up all that grease literally the same thing you do when you cook it you this bread we got these fresh cucumbers we got this tomato and we have this steak i really wish that y'all could just get a view of like this whole 
line up right here okay so what what is next honey because i'm like my mouth is watering so right now we just build a sandwich i just got this little spreadable it's called alouette cheese um same thing hmm. cream cheese or whatever you can do mayo but i had to be a little fancy coming on. yeah girl yeah, i love so. it because my taste buds fancy so yes. okay a little bougie here yes. <laughs> so we just want to take it spread it on the bottom of the bread and this acts as your mayo, your pie but you don't want to do too much because you want to still flavor, um, have the flavor of each component. Mm. So like I say, the freshness and the pepperiness and mm. then the steak, did it have like a little sweetness almost to it with the steak? It like, did, but, but I'm going to tell you what comes through. It's the pepper. the pepper. But I love pepper. Yes. Like I'm a pepper person. Like I'll use pepper before salt. Like I love pepper. It's this Peruvian um, pepper. It's this Peruvian mm. yellow pepper marinade that mm. I got. Peri Matter of fact, peri peri sauce. Peri peri sauce. Yeah. So, always um, you want to lay your greens down. Mm. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, it smells so good. Like, and I like a lot of greens on my sandwich. Mm -hmm. Like, I just like those sandwiches that be on TV. Like, they, they just look so good. Mm -hmm. So, that right there, honestly, me, the way I eat, I would just eat this. Really? Yeah, just this. You got to take the tomato. I love a good thin sliced tomato. Mm-hmm. And mm. yeah, gotta go back to the pepper. Fancy pepper. I just love the pepper. Yes, girl, I yes. love the pepper. So I'll take some cucumber slices. Oh, I just know that this sandwich is about to have like all of the texture. It's about to have like that meaty texture, and then you're gonna get that crunch from that cucumber. Then you're gonna get the freshness from the arugula salad and that tomato and the cute like y'all. Ooh, shoot, boy. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Need you, a chef shell. you need you a shelf shell so if you hey so first off, get to my girl look at this sandwich y'all look at this oh uh, look at this that is beautiful Let's that see. is a work of art yes that is beautiful and of course you know we gotta get a good cross section of it mm. so we're gonna cut this on an angle on a bias <laughs> everybody gonna be like um on the bias on right the bias. right <laughs> so i'm all for presentation mm. <clears throat> all right yes and here is your steak and arugula sandwich oh and if you even Lord. wanted to just just to have just to make it seem like yeah you got some little get a little healthy here yeah got you a little arugula salad squeeze you a little bit more lemon juice mm. over there Put you a little cucumber here and there. Girl. Now, enjoy. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. I just want. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. I'm going to just. Ow. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. Ow. You ow. understand? Like, uh, I need you to get all of this because I'm about to eat all of this, okay? Yes. <laughs> The gloves coming off. Oh, yes, the baby. Bless the hands off. that prepared this food and bless this body for what I was about to receive. Okay, amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, <laughs> amen. Hey. This man, that man. Hey, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> hey, up to it, down to it, baby. Mmm. Mmm. We done. <laughs> it's just a sandwich. <laughs> we done. Baby. Baby. I don't know if y'all heard it, but the crunch from the bread and the onions. Mmm. This is good. It's good. This it. Real bad. Real bad. So I love creating, building on flavors i like to take anything hmm. that's a composed dish i hate the word decompose but i like to take anything that's a composed mm. dish and make it into a sandwich mm -hmm. that could have easily now for you guys just watching your carbs or whatever same thing put it on, on the, the salad. salad yep mm -hmm. put it on the salad um but yeah i like to keep the integrity of the vegetables the meat the breads everything in its natural form you see my natural hair you mm. see this natural hair you see this natural so I like to keep everything um, in its natural state. Mm -hmm. So with the bread, like I said, just mm. a quick toast, the steak, 
the raw arugula, the raw onions. Mm. You get the crunch, you get the tenderness from the meat. The tomatoes are firm but juicy. The cucumbers are thin sliced, but it still gives you that crunch. Like, she ain't talking. Thinner. Look, she ain't keep thinner. talking. <laughs> <laughs> keep talking. You like, I take a bite. Oh yeah, you know that's good, but. And keep talking. Yeah. So <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much it. And it mm. was a few simple ingredients. This is stuff. Not a flank steak. Typically, mm. people might not have flank steak, but you can do any like quick cooking steak, flank steak, sirloin steak, um, anything that's quick cooking like that. Um, and like I say, where you want to grill it outside in your grill in your in your heavy bottom grill pan, mm. um, in the house. And then for the most part, most people typically got some tomato, cucumber, onion. Mm -hmm. um, don't want to do a rugula, mm. you can do spinach, mm -hmm. you can do, you can do lettuce. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. But I feel like you need that arugula. You need that arugula because it gives it that nice peppery bite. And it's something mm -hmm. different. It's something different. Y'all expand y'all palates. Um, but yeah, real simple. Like me personally, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm about to take this arugula salad, mm -hmm. get some more lemon juice over it, these cucumbers and these tomatoes. And I'm about to go to work. Um, Mm -hmm. and eat that mm. but uh other than that yeah like it's all a vibe it's all it's mm. all an experience and um i'm mm. just trying to like reach one teach one one plate mm -hmm. at a time mm -hmm. and i just okay let me just um, i'm the cupcake i'm gonna walk girl. all the way over here to y'all because <laughs> does that strawberry shortcake work that sandwich so daggone good you better order your office Yo, somebody for like lunch, like spring, summer, something light, something flavorful, something that has the texture with the bite. I mean, y'all, but it's still so filling. Like, so oh freaking foot. Girl, you did that, honey. You put your big toe in it. All them pounds that you lost, you put them right here in this sandwich. Ow. Okay. I, mm. She don't miss. That's a bucket, baby. It's a bucket. She don't yeah. miss. You know, girl, don't miss. I know I'm being rude, but I ain't here for etiquette, okay? Right. I'm here to let y'all know that y'all got a book with my girl, Chef Shell, because she did the daggone thing, okay? Yes. Make sure you put some real butter in your cakes and cupcakes, okay? Real butter. <laughs> real butter, all right? Not none of that margarine, all right? Yeah. Make sure you use some real butter. When you toasting your stuff, when you cooking your stuff, and if they didn't hear you the first time, let them know how they can get in contact with you, how they can find you, like what are your handles, because baby, you got to hit my girl up. <clears throat> well, definitely, I'm on most social media platforms. I'm on Facebook. Um, Create Catering is my page. It's a subsidiary page of my mm. Shaquille and the Shell Stubbs. I'm on IG at chef underscore shell, all lowercase. Um, my email is createcatering at outlook.com. Phone number is associated somewhere in all of those platforms. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I'm also on YouTube at it's with the apostrophe okay. chef shell. Um, I'll definitely send you all of that stuff so yeah. you can tag it in and have the links and everything. Mm -hmm. But you can definitely reach out to me um, or even just drop a few comments mm -hmm. down below and, and I'll reach back out to mm -hmm. you guys. Um, it mm. has definitely been a pleasure. I've been trying to link up with Coco for a good little minute. We just had to finally get our mm. schedules in mm. sync. Um, it's, it's, it's been magical. I, I went to bed so excited. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely um, it's been a beautiful opportunity to sit yes. here and converse and just do what I do and have you enjoy it. I'm always mm. wanting to be appreciated. And, mm -hmm. but that's how I show my love. That's my, my acts of service is mm -hmm. cooking. And well, my love language is food. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So definitely book with your girl. Definitely come try and have you a sit with Coco. Mm -hmm. um, it's where you want to be. It's yeah. lit. It's lit here. It's lit, baby. Okay. Yes. So while I finish this sandwich and get to my cupcake, because when I tell y'all, I ain't got time. I'm ready to eat. Y'all make sure you like, subscribe, go follow my girl, go follow me, and you already know this is a cut with hey, Coco, baby. Yes. All right. Yes. <laughs>